What's going on everybody? Corey with Corey's Computer Repair here. Got this gaming computer. Unfortunately, I did not build this one, but it is built very, very well. It's a very good computer. Uh, unfortunately, the customer reported they had some issues with crashes. First, with Apex Legends, they would load the game and it wouldn't even make it to the title screen and the whole computer was rebooting. Then, when they played Call of Duty Warzone or even Fortnite, the customer said he would only get 20 to 30 minutes out of it, then it would crash to the desktop. So, I was kind of leaning towards a heating issue uh, somewhat, but Apex Legends completely crashing and causing the computer to reboot was kind of odd, but I had a hunch at what might be wrong. So the first thing I did to kind of get a baseline is I downloaded a program called Furmark, which is a GPU stress testing program, and I ran it to see what we were going to get. Because originally, you only had one, two, three intake fans here, and there was nothing up top here. These additional two fans that are exhausting air right now were not here. So I was thinking, you know, there's just not enough airflow, in my opinion. Went ahead and ran that... Uh, Furmark GPU stress test at 1080p continuous and the GPU got up to a very hot 85 degrees Celsius. I went ahead and stopped the stress test when it got to that point and um, went back and checked drivers. The drivers for the GPU were completely outdated and they were the Microsoft Windows Update provided drivers, not the actual gaming drivers from AMD. So I went ahead and downloaded the most current drivers brought them up to date. Uh, then the next thing I did was did a little research to see what I could find as, as far as why Apex Legends might be crashing. Uh, and a lot of people were pointing to a BIOS update that that fixed it for them. And that was my next step. I usually make sure all the BIOSes on every computer I have are updated. And for those who don't know, that's this main square board that everything plugs into. It's its firmware. It's any fixes, any problems, that might be addressed with its firmware are fixed in a BIOS update. So the version that was on this computer, or excuse me, uh, on this um, motherboard was version 1408, released in early 2020. The version that, and let me get my notes here, bear with me, version that was released this year, uh, August, September, October, it was late August, it looks like, was version 4021. So it went from version 1408 to version 4021, which is a big jump. Uh, the next thing I did was install the MSI Afterburner, which is a program where you can do some overclocking with the GPU, which I don't need to do. There is an uh, AMD Radeon uh, 5700 XT in here, great graphics card. It doesn't need to be overclocked, but what I'm using that program for is simply to create a custom fan profile for the three fans. Underneath there's one here, in the middle, and on the back. And it's, the fans were just simply not kicking on and um, utilizing 60 to 80% of their speed. They were only kicking on for a little bit and it just wasn't enough for what he's doing. So I created custom fan profiles, so the fans are always on, they're always spinning uh, to provide, to keep that airflow going. Uh, and then the next thing I did was add two, there's one here and one here, two 120 millimeter Corsair fans. They are brand new that uh, were working pulls from systems when I got a brand new case and customers wanted RGB instead of the fans and they really didn't care about the fans, they told me to keep them. So I put in two exhaust fans. So there's three intake, one, two, three, and two exhaust, one, two. And then there's custom fan profile for the GPU. So that is running. And then I logged back in, relaunched Apex Legends after all of that. And Apex Legends is running fine. Call of Duty is running fine, as well as um, Fortnite he plays occasionally, is running fine. So I called the customer up, 
let them know. Customer is extremely happy. Can't wait to get this home and start playing some Apex Legends and Call of Duty. So it's always good to hear that. But uh, sometimes, you know, for all everybody out there that just uh, wants to know what it takes to troubleshoot a computer, sometimes this is it. You just got to go through and process of elimination. You know, in this case, it was a combination of things. As I told the customer, it was a perfect storm of things <laughs> causing issues. So we were able to address those issues, take care of it for the customer, and the customer is extremely happy. So once again, this is Corey for Corey's Computer Repair, and thanks for watching.